Well, Bo, I expected you a couple of days ago. Well, I've been staying out of the project. I didn't get your letter till this morning. I got here as quick as I could. Didn't even stop to dress for the occasion. Oh? What occasion? We're calling on a beautiful woman. <laughs> Would you like a drink? Sure. I was hoping you'd come to see me without being asked. Well, I thought of it. Well? I was afraid you might have blood dripping off your clothes. I haven't hurt you. I know. And I could. Do you know why I asked you to come here? Probably it's my turn and you want to see if I'll crawl. For old time's sake. How much? What's the price? It's all yours. I'm giving it back to you. You don't owe me a cent. Tell me, why do I rate this? You trying to buy off your conscience? You think I'm sorry for what I've done to them? Those foul-mouthed, whiskey-soaked Carolina gentlemen? I've got them on their knees begging for mercy, and I'm glad. Will be. Nobody's ever harmed you enough to... Not me. enough! The way they tramped back and forth over my life, treating me like I was trash. They never let up. When I married Jim, when he died. And Boke, you know if it wasn't for them that you and I would. Boke, now I've got money. I can give you anything. Everything. Forget your pride. I don't care now if you were wrong or right when you married Tracy. I'll never talk about it. You're worried about what people will say. We can leave. We can go anywhere in the world. Oh, God. And they lived happily ever after. Kiss me, Bob. Exactly the same. There are things you can change with money, Ruby. The way you fix your hair, the way you dress. You can buy houses, dogs, guns, cars. You can even buy some people. You can buy a lot of things with Jim's money, Mrs. Gentry. But you can't buy your way out of the swamp. And you can't buy me. <laughs>